It's not just for raw photos. If you want to use it as a plugin, you'll get a ton of improvement because the speed is just through the roof compared to what we used to use when we jumped over to effects. So here's actually my workflow, which is I have a raw photo inside of Lightroom and I'll go ahead and I'll kind of adjust the exposure. I know the sky gets bright, but I want to get that foreground looking good here. So I think we're, we're pretty close in that aspect. Um, I can pull back my highlights and I can kind of pull back that sky a little bit, but I usually go and grab my graduated filter and I'll go over here and just bring the exposure down. And now I can really tame the sky without necessarily interfering too much with the foreground. We also, uh, if you look over here, we have a brush option, which means I can go over and select that brush. I can choose the erase option for the brush and I can take make my brush a little bit smaller here but I can just drag it right along this little edge here and so I'm able to I'm able to go in here and still darken the sky but I'm also able to keep everything else that was bright bright without making that line go across there so that helps out quite a bit and then I can finesse it a little bit maybe make it a little bit darker I'll do a quick whites and blacks adjustment. I usually hold down my option or alt key and adjust the whites. I got a good white point with the sun and I'm okay that that goes all white because it was the sun. It, it kind of should go all white. And then optional, I'll click on the blacks slider here and I can adjust the blacks a little bit of, a little bit of clarity, not too much. Cause that's usually what I like to save for on one effect. So at this point, I've got my photo going pretty good, but the last thing I'll probably do here is maybe add a little bit of sharpening to it. And it's got a lot of detail, so I can crank that sharpening slider up pretty close to a hundred and everything still looks good. I won't really be able, I won't really be introducing that much noise into the photo. So if I hit the backslash key, that's before, that's after. If I thought of one more thing as I'm looking at this before I jump over for the, the final stylization phase, I think I would go in here and maybe just warm the photo a little bit. All right, just like that. But at this point, I'm ready for, for that stylization phase. And a lot of photographers work this way. A lot of photographers do the raw editing, but we're using other programs for stylization. And I think that's where a lot of those strong points are. That's where on one effects fits in for me. So I jump over to the photo edit in menu and you see here, I can jump straight over into effects. And the cool thing is, is it happens almost instantaneously, but even better than that is when you, when you start adding filters here, it's, you're going to see a huge difference. So uh, I like dynamic contrast. That's always uh, an old favorite of mine. So I go in here to dynamic contrast, it just gives an overall edge and depth to the scene. And maybe I'll pull back on a couple of those sliders. Uh, I'll jump in there. Another one that I use a lot is sunshine. So I'm going to go add a sunshine filter. And for me, that gives a little bit of a glow and allows me to give it a little bit of extra warmth. And when I talk stylization, that's exactly what I mean, is I'm stylizing my photo a little bit more now. You know, a glow is not necessarily natural. You know, that's not necessarily something that I saw, but it's something that I like from my landscape photos just a little bit. I'm not gonna crank it up like that to where it looks foggy, but I like a little bit of glow in there and an extra little bit of warmth. I just, I happen to like a lot of my landscapes on the warmer tones. Uh, let's go ahead here. So we've got some dynamic contrast. We've got some sunshine filter. I'll finish this up with vignette. So I'll just drop a vignette on here. And so you've got all your usual settings here. You can feather it, change the brightness setting. But here's what's really neat is if you've been an effects user for a while, you're gonna love this one. You can turn off a layer and you can still see all the other layers on here. So you're not gonna turn off a layer and it kind of hides everything below that. When you turn off a layer inside of effects now, it keeps everything else visible so you can see just what that layer is doing to the effects deck. And that's that's one of the benefits, not only for On One Raw, but how everything's kind of been revamped throughout the whole product. Um, that's one of the benefits is that everything works super fast now because of the raw engine that drives this whole thing. Okay, so when I'm done, all I have to do is click save and it'll bring me right back over to Lightroom. And now I've got my, my edited photo with all the effects applied to it right back here. And if you wanna see the before and after, what I'll do here is I'll hit reset on the before image. We can take a look. So that's our before image. And then this is after Lightroom and after effects back into Lightroom uh, with my final edited and stylized photo. So you can see, there we go for before and that's the after. 